I'm going to go over this problem, and, and the, the show that problems are kind of tricky because you wonder, well, what do they want? What am I supposed to show? So anyway, this equation, you want to show that it can be written like this, and that's what we're going to do right now. So please pause the video and try it. And don't forget, we're going to be using the, the two identities that, that we went over. Actually, just one of the identities. We want to get to tangent. We want to make this look like this. So we're going to have to rearrange this 2 cosine squared. We're, we're going to have to move it over, and we want our objective is, our first objective is to make this zero here. So I, I wrote the next step in red. And bear in mind that sine over cosine is equal to tangent. And here, they want us to go from point A. Sorry, this is kind of a... Okay, so they want us to go from point A to point B. And we're going from this to a tangent. The next step, and there's probably more than one way to do this, is the way I did it, is divide it by cosine squared of theta. And so let's see what happens. Okay, I actually skipped a, a couple steps, but in, in, in the interest of making this video short and being able to upload it and so forth. But here we have sine, sine squared over cosine squared, and here we have sine over, it used to be sine, sine theta, times cosine theta, well one of those cosine theta is cancelled. And then we're going to come here in minus 2, the cosine squared is cancelled. And now we can substitute in tangent. And I just realized I made a small error over here, but just know that this applies to all the terms here. So I'm going to cancel that out. Cosine, whoops, I forgot. Theta, so those cancel out, so it's just minus 2. I'll show you in a minute, in a moment. So here we go, I, it's been broken down to this, and I'm gonna use u substitution. So factor, and solve for tangent theta. And if I can back up, I realize that I, I went a little further than I probably should have, and maybe you're a bit confused. Okay, so part A, there's a part A, there's a part B of this question. Part A is this, show that the equation is, uh, this equation is this, and we went through the process. So here is the, the answer. And part B says solve for theta, and that's what we're in the process of doing now. So that's, that's what's in red. So we're trying to determine what theta is. And, and it has to be between 0 and 180 degrees. So that's what we're doing at this point. And here's what we've got. And we're going to find the inverse tangent of theta. Only this one we might be throwing out and ignoring because it's got to be between 0 and 180. And I wrote it out just so to help you understand. So this is what we're doing. We're trying to find the solutions of this equation, which is which is here, and it's been factored. We've got this, and we're trying to go from 0 to 180. Okay. And here's our first value, 18.4. For tangent, we add 180, um, 180 to every value because the curves are such that they're separated by 180 degrees. If I add 180 to 18.4, then I'm going to be above 180. And don't forget that that's what the question is asking for, between 0 and 180. So that makes our lives e maybe a little easier. So let's try this. Tangent to the negative 1. The negative 1 of negative 2. Negative 63.4. Is that between 0 and 180? No. But it repeats every 180 degrees. So I'm going to add 180 to it. And I'm going to get our value of 116.6. 116 
And we're finally done with this evil problem, 116.6.